I'm back at Gary's. i um, going to work on some electrical on his ambulance. I'd, we did some work on his bed in the past and his uh, tray for his uh, fridge freezer. I brought palliative care with me. Yeah, Gary hasn't got a name for his ambulance yet, but I'm um, hoping that he'll come up soon and maybe I'll even make him the uh, name tag to go on his vehicle. First thing I'm going to do is uh, remove of all, a lot of his electrical wiring that he has from the uh, flasher light system I'm pointing to right now. He's got some bunch of power bars, power strips that are all connected. Those are going to be coming out. Uh, he's got two uh, solenoids there. The solenoids uh, used to turn on power for the house. Uh, eventually, we'll be replacing those and putting them on to uh, digital uh, relays. They uh, draw a lot less current and they'll save us some energy. Those two are the two up there. And uh, he's got the two bottom solenoids here. Those are for the sure start. The one thing the Amazon they did, if there's a button on the front console for sure start, and you hit that button, and it will uh, change, add the house batteries to your truck batteries. So uh, if your truck batteries are dead, you can start your vehicle. I'll also be removing the battery isolator. It's not needed anymore. This was to charge the uh, truck batteries as well as the house batteries. We'll be putting in a energy DC to DC charger with the uh, built-in MPPT for a solar that will come up eventually. This is what Gary's upper electrical panel looks like right now and it was pretty well what mine looked like before so uh, we will be adding some more switches into uh, Gary's panel but I just thought I'd show you a comparison of what mine looked like. Uh, so this is what uh, Palette of Care's upper electrical cabinet looks like now. I thought you'd like to see a comparison of from what it was before and we will be adding some more stuff to Gary's uh, cabinet, more switches and ports but won't be quite like this. I'll be removing some of the wiring. Uh, some of the wiring I'll be uh, keeping and uh, saving for because uh, they have controls to the front so we don't want to tear everything out it just makes it easier if you want to uh, reuse some of the switches for other features than that I had for the ambulance. Removing a few more items. I'm uh, trying to save a lot of the controls and the wiring that goes up to the front because uh, if uh, Gary wants to repurpose these things for other items, we don't have to worry about fishing new wire through. So I did the same thing with my ambulance. There's a few more things I'm going to disconnect here and then I'm going to put on his Renergy MPPT uh, DC to DC charger. Uh, hopefully I've got that installed in about 20 minutes or so. Well, I have the wires cleaned up and I've mounted the Renegy DC to DC uh, charger. So it's uh, looking pretty good. I think where it is, it'll be easy access. And uh, now I just have to uh, remove the battery isolator and I'm done. It's raining out today. So uh, I used the uh, tent that I made for my vehicle. And I uh, put it on to uh, Gary's, so it works really good. It, uh, we're doing electrical, so it keeps the area dry. We don't have to worry about things getting wet, or us getting wet too. So uh, I'm pleased that it's uh, multi-purpose uh, use. It's not just for one vehicle. Okay, we have the uh, Renergy DC to DC uh, charger all hooked up. We don't have the solar panels connected yet, but that will come. I've had to do some work on the rewiring of his uh, breaker panel. It had an automatic switch over 
for an inverter uh, took it out and there was an issue with the neutrals uh, not connected so that's all done and we've tested that over here we have the standoffs for his truck batteries we have his uh, yeah, fuse for the input to his uh, DC to DC converter and a fuse on the output going to his lithium batteries the lithium batteries all connected and we have the monitor connected for his uh, on this shunt for his battery monitor the uh, 98% is not full it's just uh, right now because the batteries aren't fully charged you know, fully charge the batteries and then we can reset and program the unit itself and I'm putting a fireplace right there on the end of that wall this wall yeah yeah okay, it's a wood burning stove that's good that's a good idea because you know what they were saying it's good to have a backup right well I'm not gonna put anything else yeah so strictly wood burning yeah with the cat I really don't want a wood burning fireplace in mine no, yeah. no, no. yeah but uh but it's only a foot square i'll show it to you after yeah yeah and then you got some uh is it you and your wife yeah yeah perfect um you have you're on instagram right here i'm everywhere yeah okay you do I, I have a million followers but i was just telling my guys that uh, uh obviously uh um, you had a million followers on your youtube channel on, on your instagram channel no it's twitter it's combined combined well, yeah. Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, yeah, Instagram. That's, yeah. That's huge. That's huge. Yeah. yeah. Well, are you gonna get 16 a, years. Are you going to get a uh, YouTube channel? Yeah, I've got one. Oh, you do? Okay. I've got three of them, actually. Well, three of them. One's called Biz Life, and it's going to have everything. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a category in there about the ambulance. Good, good, good. good. I'll have to get your yeah. channel so I yeah. can find the script. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. You see, I was just going to back up. We have now three ambulances on Gary's property. Yeah. Not right. It's an ambulance convention. Why don't you uh, let me just uh, do a little bit here to pretend I'm doing it right? Yeah, I'll do a little bit or start that cut for me. Yeah. Okay, okay. So now you just fold the line down here. And let the blade just lightly push down, let the blade do the work. Gotcha. Okay, try it out and I'll watch it for a sec. Yeah, now that that entryway is well, over there, now we can walk through. It's a safety thing because yeah. we don't want to. Gonna walk through there's. You're gonna see a Gary, right? Don't want. <laughs> look at her all. Yeah. Here we all. I'll with take her, the cameras. All with our videos out. So, you wanna be the first to walk through? I'm gonna be the first to walk through. Oh. These class threes are only have pastures. They don't have a door. Wow. Well. There we go. I made it through. Much better. Much better. Much better. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, all three of us are going to be meet up in Squamish on next Wednesday and spend a couple of nights in the area. You'll see our trip in my next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe button and turn on your bell icon to get notified of future videos.